Today is the 15th of Tammuz. It's the Hilula, your site of Rabenu Chaim ben Atar, also known as Or HaChaim Agadosh. Or HaChaim Agadosh is the commentary on Chumash, Hamisha Chumche Torah, uh, written by uh, Rabenu Chaim ben Atar. Uh, he lived around uh, 400 years ago, 300 some years ago in Eretz Israel, and he contributed to Judaism a lot. Uh, we see that his uh, commentary on the Chumash is very famous and it has many secrets uh, sold uh, on Pirushim on the Torah. So they say whoever, I, I, I heard this from many Rabbanim including Harav Eliyahu Netan and that whoever studies or Hachai Magadosh uh, every day, and he makes a condition that Be'ezat Hashem in the Zechut of Or HaChaim HaKadosh study that I have, even a few minutes, and he asks for something, that wish would come true. Especially this uh, study of Or HaChaim HaKadosh uh, can contribute to some um, having children. If somebody has to have, if somebody wants to have more children, uh, this is a good segula. Uh, just a few uh, minutes a day, and he can make a condition that Be'ezat Hashem, through this learning, I uh, should have uh, more children, and I, and I would name my child Chaim, after Rabbeinu Chaim bin Atar, then that, that has a big segula. Uh, there is a famous story uh, that Rabbeinu Chaim bin Atar passed away on Shabbat. So he lived around the same years uh, with, uh, he lived the same uh, years of, uh, uh, with Rabenu Shem Tov. Rabenu Shem Tov. So, Harab Bal Shem Tov. Bal Shem Tov, uh, one Shabbat, as he was going to wash uh, for Seudah Shalishit, all of a sudden he tells his students that Ner Hamaravi has diminished. So, they don't understand really what that means. Ner Hamaravi perhaps referring to a candle in Ma'arab. Ma'arab is Eretz Israel. Harab Bal Shem Tov, Zech he lived, uh, you know, he lived in Europe. Ne'er Ma'aravi referring to Eretz Israel. So after Shabbat, they hear the news that Rabbeinu Chaim ben Atar has passed away. So they ask, Harab Bal Shem Tov, how did you find out? It was in Seudah Shalashit. How did you, how did you f- figure this out? So he tells because there is the a secret of Netilat Yadayim. There is a secret of Netilat Yadayim. There is a sword that only one Santik in every generation would know. And Hashem has revealed that, uh, that secret to me in Seudah Shalishit. So I, I figured that the Sadiq higher than me was uh, Rabbeinu Chaim bin Atar and he must have passed away that now I should know this secret. And Agadosh Baruch Hu gave me this knowledge, so perhaps this is in absence of Orachai Magadosh. There is a famous story that they say of uh, uh, when uh, Orachai Magadosh was, was about to pass away, you know, he, he, he died in Israel and he was relatively young. So, uh, and he had no children. Uh, his wife goes to him, tells him, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm afraid about Parnasa. What's going to be with the Parnasa? So Rachaim Agadosh tells her, you know, don't worry. There will be a very rich man coming to, to you from Turkey. And that rich man will come to pay a uh, fortune for my tefillin. Sell my tefillin to him, and that would be a source of Parnasa for you. But you need to make sure to tell him that whenever he, he wears my tefillin, he needs to make sure not to say the rechod. No mundane talk. No talk other than the talk of the re Torah, the talk of tefillah. While he has that tefillin on, no mundane, no, uh, no the rechod. So this guy comes, he gives big money. She tells him the condition. He accepts it. 
he goes to Turkey, he starts wearing it. Whenever he wears that tefillin, he gets so much, you know, uh, elevation, you know, Kiddusha and Tahara. And one day, a friend of him comes and he, he wants to talk to him. You know, he pushes, he says, you know, I want to talk to you, it's important. It's about business, this and that. So for one, uh, one time, he makes a mistake and he talks. He talks the Rechol. And right after that, he doesn't feel holiness anymore. He doesn't feel Kedusha. He doesn't feel that he, uh, even he, he, if he's uh, wearing tefillin anymore. So he goes to a sofer, he gives his tefillin to the sofer, and sofer opens it and finds no parchment in it. No parchment. The parchment are gone. Or maybe if I'm not mistaken, 